Yo, what's going on? What's up? Welcome back to another video today, guys. Everyone was doing good. Everyone was doing well, man. You can tell by the title, of course, you're going to be getting into one of the most anticipated sneakers of 2023 so far. Or we can just go ahead and narrow that down and just say one of the most anticipated Jordan 4s of 2023 so far. So, you know, big shout out to I am Rico Suave. Of course, he's the one who actually uploaded the first photos slash videos of the shoe that went viral and spread it like a wildfire. You know, I'm glad to see him actually get some recognition because if you guys have been following the channel, he is, you know, the guy's actually been supplying us with some of our early reviews. So big shout out to him. But so in today's video, guys, we're gonna be getting into some background, um, background information, of course, reviewing the shoe and just, you know, get into what our thoughts and opinions, you know, the usual. So let's go ahead kick off the video, let's get into it. And you have it guys, the Nike SBX Air Jordan 4 Retro Pine Green. And man, oh man, these things are looking amazing. They're looking beautiful right now. So of course, we're gonna be getting into the laces. Um, what makes these an actual SB compared to the regular Jordan 4s? And of course, we can get into all of it. As always, everything will be timestamped down below. Be cool if you watch the whole video. If not, go ahead and skip to whatever you wanna see. And uh, yeah, so we we'll go ahead and kick this off with background information and then we'll just, running on through let's do it all right cool so let's go ahead and figure out what makes it different from a standard air jordan 4 and what did he do to actually make this you know skatable so it says the side wings are made from a rubber compound because they were stand grip tape better than traditional plastic materials the sole was thinner at the forefoot to increase board fill furthermore the air unit underneath the forefoot has been removed on the nike sb air jordan 4. the sb branded heel tab delivers notable flexibility to accommodate skating tongue includes more padding than a normal Jordan 4s, which I did notice, although not to the extent of the SB Dunks. The toe cap doesn't feature a turn-in stitch, decreasing the robust of the toe. The general stitching across the pine green pair follows Nike SB guidelines as prototypes with the traditional Air Jordan stitching blew out fast. The outsole has gum sections for increased grip. So yeah, I guess that's what makes these an SB Jordan 4. Um, pretty cool, pretty dope. Um, I wouldn't mind actually skating these myself do a little bit of longboard and have a longboard in a little minute But I would definitely like to see how these would feel to actually, you know, skate in a longboard in so That'd be dope, but without further ado guys, let's go ahead and move on. Let's get into some thoughts and opinions I mean, <laughs> let's get into a review then thoughts and opinions then we'll finish the video off So let's go ahead and get into that All right, so now we're finally into the review. I appreciate you guys it, for the ones who actually stayed and watched through For the ones who skipped through it, let me go ahead and get to the review for you guys. So Starting with the box, of course, you got your nice sale cream colored Jordan 4 box. Not a flip lid, the top comes completely off. You see that says flight, and then right there, Jumpman Nike SB. Label in the box does read Air Jordan 4 Retro SP colorway is sale dash white dash pine green size 11, 12 and a half women. And I did win this pair at Trophy Room with a big shock, big surprise because I was taking L's everywhere. There's nothing special in the inside of the box, standard paper. Not like that. Let's just go ahead, jump right into the shoe. Kick it off as we start up with the insole shoe. Of course, I went ahead, pulled out the insole just because I want to see if they had that extra support that they have on the SBs. And of course, they don't. So, you know, this is literally like what I'm talking about and up here as well. But I also went ahead and pulled out my insole on my Bread 4s. And they're literally the exact same. Only difference is this one's black and this one's white. So, flipping on over, of course, continuing the review. And so it is red right here under the hill. You do have Nike SB Air and the size sticker. Literally it. So moving on to the shoe, of course, the inner liner material or the sock liner, whatever you want to call that, let that focus in, zoom in. It's just a cotton, you know, inner liner material on the inside of the shoe. Nothing special about that. You see the size and tag right there. Flipping it over to the back of the tongue, of course, you do have that upside down Air Jordan, I mean, Jordan Air or Air Jordan, whatever you want to call it, you know. But I wish they would have did something different, you know, kind of how they did with the UNC 5s or, you know, at least put something different in there, you know, make it a little special. But at the end of the day, you guys won't even notice it anyway when the shoe's on. So flip it on over to your guys' favorite portion. Now you do have nice sail tongue. I want to say it is a sail tongue tag, red jumpman, and that nice pine green flight and that cursive writing. Now moving on down to our favorite part, which is laces, of course. Now you want to get one set of laces, which is the sail laces that match the sail, which is in the upper. But and guys, listen, I'm not I'm not really feeling this. I just had to see how it looked, but went ahead and threw on some red laces. Now, this is giving me like a Rastafarian slash Christmas type of vibe right now, just because it's like, eh. I mean, the shoe has red, but it's, eh, I don't know. 
honestly, personally with me, I think it would look fire if it had like some pine green laces or you just kept the cell laces in the shoe. Cause right now this red is, uh, it's not doing it for me at all. So we're gonna go ahead, put that back down over there, you know, and pick this one back up. So moving on, right, let's go ahead, move down to the toe box. So whole upper is literally consistent of cell leather and you do have this nice suede right here that wraps around the medial or my bad, the medial to the lateral side of the shoe. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty dope. Um, standard netting system, not too special. Again, flipping on back to the back tab, you do have your Nike SB tab. That's pretty cool, that's pretty dope. I really, really like that a lot. I'm pretty sure that's why a lot of people really like the shoe, you know. Now, moving on down to the midsole, of course you do have a white midsole. Now, I'm not sure how to be showing from camera, but again, in person, you can tell the difference, like cell upper, white midsole, of course. Flip them back around so you guys can see that one more time. Now flip it to the bottom of the shoe, you do have your nice standard, well, I can't really say standard anymore, but you do have your nice um, Air Jordan 4 also. Now, like I said before, the uh, gum bottoms are extra grippy, and yeah, that's about it. Red Nike, uh, yeah. So that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the Nike SBX Air Jordan 4 Retro Pine Green. Now let's go ahead and move on to the thoughts and opinions. And then, you know, we'll finish this video off. So let's do it. All right, so finish the video with thoughts and opinions, man. And in all honesty, you know, if I wasn't able to get these shoes for retail, I was definitely not gonna pay resale for them. I probably would have put these in the back of my head and just been looking forward to the next shoe. But since I was able to get these for retail, I think I'm gonna go ahead, throw these into the collection, just because, you know, it's something a little bit different for me, personally, I'm, I'm not like, I'm the type of person where Prestos, uh, uh, you know, Yeezys, Jordan 1s, and you know, something like that. But this is definitely, definitely a little bit different for me. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and throw this in the collection for sure. Um, now, if it was the Black Cats, nah, nah, I'm not really into all that. So this is good enough for me right here. But guys, what do you think about this shoe? Is this a cop, is it a drop, or are you waiting for the Black Cat colorway to drop? Uh, let me know how you feel about this. So, you know, at the end of the day, let's go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up the video, guys, because, you know, everything goes a long way. And, yeah, we're on the road to hitting almost, or we're getting close to, like, 800 subs, so 800 is close to 1,000, so let's go ahead and run it up, guys. So, anyway, peace out, guys. You guys stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Later.